north central region of Nigeria, particularly Benue State, has experienced conflict and violent confrontations since Nigeria's return to democracy in 1999. These conflicts are generally attributed to the search for scarce resources arising from desertification and climate change in the far northern parts of Nigeria. This has led to mass migration into the Middle Belt region by the headsmen, resulting in violent confrontations between them and farmers. Political positions also remain an area where violent confrontations with oppositions happens as well as communal disputes within and between communities over chieftaincy titles, land and other natural resources. In a bid to curtail the violent extremism now plaguing the Middle Belt region of the country, a non-governmental, non-profit, non-political, non-religious and voluntary organization called Women Environmental Program, WEP, in 2016, designed a project titled Connecting Women and Youth in Violent Extremist-Prone Areas Through Empowerment and Skills Acquisition in Benway State. Numerous programs and training workshops were carried out under this project. The workshops include Preventing the Recruitment and Radicalization to Violent Extremism of Youths Preventing Violent Extremism Training for Traditional and Local Administrators across six LGAs livelihood training, launching of a digital club, and several skills acquisition training designed to empower women in the region. Dr. Priscilla Achapa is the founder of Women Environmental Program. WEP was founded in 1997, April 8th precisely, by a group of grassroots women in Kaduna, where we had the issues of environmental pollution, especially by the textile companies who were discharging the effluents directly into the environment. And the women were affected because their source of livelihood was on this environment, the land, the water, and the water was contaminated. And they started having some kind of skin diseases and the rest of them, most of them were dying and they were attributing it to witchcraft. So what we did was to take the sample of the water and the, 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 the soil to the lab and when we did that sample it was discovered that everything was toxic from the chemicals from the textile from the industries generally the project received funding support from the global community engagement and resilience fund a geneva-based donor implementation under a consortium arrangement with web seven as the principal recipient commenced in August 2016 with the Angel Support Foundation, Center for Development and Social Justice, Gender and Environmental Risk Reduction Initiative, and the Foundation for Justice Development and Peace, serving as sub-recipients in phase one of the project, which lasted from 2016 to 2019. We started work with Joseph in 2016, um, and this was as a result of uh, extensive work in conflict management that we have carried out in the North Central region, in Nigeria generally, and Benue State um, specifically. And um, the, we had before now been um, managing various um, conflict management interventions in Benue State and some of the other states in the North Central region. But um, around 2014, we realized that from our interactions with community members and stakeholders within the state, we realized that the conflicts that we had experienced in that region had taken on a new dimension, which was similar to what we had happening in the northeast part of the country, where um, Boko Haram had overrun um, several communities and in the states in that part of the country. Our program seeks to, um, seeks to work with women and youth. And the reason being that youth are the most vulnerable to be recruited to violence or to violent extremism. In the course of this documentary, we will be visiting six local governments in the state. They are Ado, Agatu, Buruku, Guma, Kwande, and Logo. 
WEP has so far sensitized the communities on the issues of violent extremism through trainings that focused on capacity building, signs of radicalization, methods of recruitment of young women and young men into violent extremist groups, and the consequences of violent extremism. One of such training was conducted at Daudu in Goma, local government area. So yeah, this is Wahenka, a training session for community policing and neighborhood watching. Come in now. Community policing and neighborhood watching. Nina. Community policing and neighborhood watching. I must give kudos to the women for organizing such a program like this. At least it enlightens the society not only the society, the public, about giving information to the police that will help in curbing crimes in the society. Actually, this has gone a long way because there's a saying that says, if you are not informed, you are deformed. And police, we need information to, in order to effect our duties efficiently. The program was saying was come to Otwa, Mambo, A Gatu local government area, whose residents are mainly farmers, has not been without its share of unrest in recent past. But through our numerous training projects organized for local leaders, women, teachers, religious leaders, as well as young women, the cases of unrest have reduced significantly. Agatu has been, over the years, over 40 years, been plagued with conflict between farmers and headsmen and also the tussle over the ownership of fish ponds. And very recently as well, there has been a lot of um, intra-communal crisis between communities, one community or the other. Um, at the center of this conflict, you have youth, of course, who are the perpetrators of this conflict because they are the ones that carry out um, most of the violent attacks. I want to share what I learned from here to my people at home, reach out, of, uh, reach out to them to change their own character. You know in Agatu is a problem area and the problem is generating from our youth. And since the program came to Agatu, that they are giving encouragement to our youth. I've seen that the youth, they are learning a lot, that uh, they, they, they are changing from that they are bad character to a very good character. WEP has trained community members on general approaches aimed at preventing violent extremism and the roles various community members can play in order to prevent the recruitment and radicalization of young women and young men into violent extremism. The participants have since begun utilizing the knowledge gained from these trainings to initiate PVE activities within their communities. Our local government area is a culturally rich and diverse area. You are welcome to Imale Community Secondary School here in Imale. The school was opened in 2013. 
And since then, I'm the one that I've been at, at the helm of affairs, managing it up to now. God used a philanthropist group, this women empowerment program. They supplied us desktop computers, and we have been using it to teach the students from years one to even SS3. We teach them in tons. This intervention has helped the school in a great way. Before this time, you can hardly see computers in Igmale. Since we are not like a town like Tupo or Makodi, we are lucky to have many sets of computers through the help of this uh, organization. We've been doing series of activities, livelihood training. We have gone around to see some of our beneficiaries that have established their own businesses and are earning for themselves. So we actually achieve a lot on this project and we're looking forward to have more in similar interventions to care for people in the community. Many individuals can now boast of a source of income. beneficiaries Cooperative, multi multipurpose cooperative society limited, Adiko, from the local government, Ela Benue State. See, um, Tomave, this is Tomave, and see here, some of them we are, he are in power, see, he boosts a G, he are say, a cookie, a colon, qua, shachuku, see, Ellen Ton, as is one of Shao, we are in poverty. She says, we are you, but again, we you, we are in poverty in our community. She says, Tone, she says, 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 Younger never never tasted say, Qua Shao Solon, you also Henato Chombo Manshi Etio Light Tessin and I was a said Dito, a sad tone, a hand here. It was a say, Seco Fan in Nasse. Se fo alu e yo sun ga ya sinyo kire o so lu na yo sura that first phase they recruit about 67 persons they put them to train different skills about up to 5 or 6 welding hairdressing uh, electrical um, Gary and Tellery. Buruku is a riverine area that uh, dominates in pastoral farming and crop production. And as expected, there's often header and farmer clashes over land and uh, a struggle for resources. So um, on our PV project, in order to reduce violent extremism, and reduce uh, the recruitment of young people into violent acts. We have tried to engage them as to address the issue of lack of opportunities 
that often leads them to go into violent perpetrations. And those beneficiaries, after that, they have clustered and formed cooperatives and they have started a business of rice milling. As a matter of fact, they are working there to set it up presently as we speak. Also, to address the absence of sense of purpose and lack of sense, sense of what that leads youth into violent extremism, we have set up mentorship clubs and peace clubs in secondary schools. Thank God for the organization that makes it possible. Now I can tap and print and design. The community, as well as the entire school community, is grateful to the organization that have provided the computer laboratory to the school. For we have benefited tremendously from the computer laboratory by training the student as a model to go after the aspiration of the founding fathers of this community school. A women environmental program has created a lot of awareness in my local government. They have made both adults and youth of the local government to see the dangers of living in an evil society. Secondly, they created job opportunities in my local government area. Youth, particularly those who have received training in some of the skills, are now able to join some businessmen so that they will be earning their own living. Logo Local Government was created in December 1996 out of Katsina Allah local government area. Some of the activities that we've carried out in Logo, um, like the mentorship program. Then um, another activity which we have is um, training on um, PVE, preventing violent extremism. So this one is strictly with the different security agencies in the, at the local level. So we have like the civil defense, the police, uh, officers and there's immigration. We even have the vigilantes. Um, so we bring them together, train them on how they can all collaborate together to help resolve some of the crisis in their at the community level. One of the activities I did mention was in community policing. This community policing is a is an avenue to bridge the trust between the community members and the different security agencies at the local level. Because they are, uh, we're working with five council wards and we ask them to work together. So every month, they made a commitment that every month they have to come together, discuss some of the pending issues in their council wards and find ways in which to resolve it. Women Environmental Programme visited our local government. So they did a lot of activities. But I personally, I participated in mentorship program. They mentored us for a period of one year. And at the end of the program, we were issued with a certificate. So at the end, we that were mentored, we formed groups now various council world and we extend the training and the teaching that we have learned from them. Since the inception of this program, uh, our communities in local local government have progressed, have witnessed a lot of uh, improvement in different forms of projects and some series of sensitization. I uh, will not be able to mention all, but I appreciate the efforts of the Women Environmental Project in local local government in the areas of training. They have trained our youth. They have sensitized our youth, educated them on the need not to be involved in violence, extreme violence. They have shown them there are various categories how to control uh, violence 
and avoid it completely. They have shown them, trained them, on how to intervene or mediate where there is a crash. They shouldn't allow the, themselves to be used by various uh, uh, ungrateful people, uh, like politicians. Each year, the International Day of Peace is observed around the world on September 21st. The United Nations General Assembly has declared this a day devoted to strengthening the ideals of peace through observing 24 hours of non-violence and ceasefire. In marking this day, the Women Environmental Program organized a peace rally in Makodi, Benue State. Youths from various walks of life took part in the long walk around the metropolis. Participants carried placards that conveyed messages such as Say no to violence. We stand for peace. Yes to peace and development, to mention a few. On the 6th of August 2021, stakeholders and state legislators met in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, to discuss the proposed bill on the establishment of the Benue State Youth Development Commission. Around the country, everywhere you go, who are the people that are the helm of, at the helm of perpetrating violence? It is the youth. Because most of them have graduated from schools, they are unemployed, they don't have anything to do, so they fall very easily for anybody that comes to come and give them a stipend to go out and perpetrate violence. And so we feel, as an organization, that establishing a youth commission where we have a lot of partners that will support this commission, both in terms of funding, in terms of others, is very key in building the capacities of our youth. Before this project, we had implemented several other conflict management projects in the state, which meant that we had, we had presence on the ground in most of the troubled local governments, local governments that had one time or the other experienced one form of conflict or the other. Ado, Gwande, Lugo, Agatu, Katsunala, and the likes. And beyond implementing activities on the ground, we also conducted several researches that were published with funding support from uh, the Irish Aid, the UNDP, and the rest of them. And so this gave us an understanding of the context so by 2015, at the peak of the changing dynamics of the kind of conflict and violence that was experienced in Benue, we conducted a community needs assessment. It's a research that gives development organizations an insight into the issues that are, the communities are facing and what possible solutions they feel will solve those problems. A cross-section of other guests also spoke during the roundtable meeting. Today is a day that Benue youth will be rescued. And this can never be possible without your support, my distinguished colleagues. Yes, we're talking about creating more opportunities. We're talking about uh, giving them a competitive edge. I heard something about self-esteem. All that will not be possible if we don't have an arm that looks at rehabilitating, mentoring, and then giving some form of counseling and guidance to our young people. UCEF has funded five different uh, consortia across the um, North Central region um, in order to implement PDE programs. Um, whose objectives were to address the drivers of violent extremism, identified through local needs assessments and, and baselines. Um, the Women Environmental Programme, WEP, has been the lead organisation of one of these five consortia and has implemented the project Connecting Women and Youth in Violent Extremism, prone 
in prone areas through empowerment and skill acquisition in Benway State. The project took a whole of community approach, engaging a wide range of stakeholders from state and non-state actors, and focused especially on local government and youth. But until we are able to provide social structures that enable these young people to either develop their capacities or deploy their develop, developed capacity, the youths will continue to rely on their muscles for survival. And any society where the youths rely on their muscles instead of content and capacity for survival, that society suffers a lot. When I saw what has been written be has already been put on ground, is well crafted. And with this, I think the youth of Benway will be taken off the street and youth of Benway will no longer be involved in vices that are not good for the society. Those social vices will no longer be inculcated in our youth because of this bill that is before us. Bearing in mind also that the governor of Benway State, who is youth friendly, we as an assembly, we bring the executive together and make them understand that this bill must pass as quickly as possible. Uh, my appreciation goes mostly to Web and uh, Joseph for finding uh, the uh, time to, to invest in Benue youth. This is coming at a very good time. It's, it's, it's for the development of the youth in the state and is, is a focal point of a, of, of a development of, a, of, a, of, a, of any state. So it's a welcome development. I must say that uh, uh, it's long overdue. It's always uh, uh, better late than never. And I have a, big, I have a feeling that uh, this will open a new page for the Benue youth uh, because uh, in there, there's so much about reorientating them, about uh, empowering them, about challenging channeling their energies in the right direction and disciplining their exuberance. So I think if this uh, comes out well and the members of the assembly uh, walk their talk, then the Bernoulli people, the Bernoulli youth, will be something else in the near future. Uh, I will conclude to myself that it was God initiated. The idea of talking with our youths and teaching them what to do is very important because there is a saying in the Bible that my people perish for lack of knowledge. And we have seen that the knowledge this uh, uh, NGO has, it has the people at heart. The society is better than before. In fact, when you go to the, to the road and everywhere, you see the road. When you talk of the, of the Women of the program here, they all know because it has helped everybody. For us as an organization, it's not just about going into the field to implement activities, but when we look around and see that young people, um, religious leaders, teachers in schools, traditional rulers, people from the administrative leadership of the local government, actually take information they obtained from the activities of this project and begin to replicate this at the community level. For us, that is the sustainability. But when we see those kinds of structures strengthened at the local level and also at the state level where we have the government putting together a youth development commission, then we are sure that even if we are no longer in these communities, whatever it is that we have started, be it livelihood interventions, um, supporting young people to have a sense of purpose, um, supporting leadership structures to be able to cope with conflict and adequately address them, we are rest assured that all the effort, the work that we have put in over the years will continue beyond our interventions.